So, I'm going to show you how to make your very own hoverboard. My hoverboard is, in fact, a hovercraft. This is how it works. Uh, I make a hole in the top and push air through it. That air then comes out the bottom. It escapes over the surface and forms a very thin film of air on which I ride. First of all, I need something to create all that air, and I found it down my local DIY store for just over 100 quid. It's a petrol-driven leaf blower. This is the configuration for a leaf blower that you're probably more familiar with. You know, you see people in the garden like that. But that's no good because I need to get my airflow out of there down into the board. So for that, I went down to my local plumber's yard and I got myself a whole load of pipes. And after a lot of cutting, sawing and a judicious use of duct tape to make everything airtight, I'd redirected my airflow straight down and through the board. But as is often the case, even with proper proper hoverboards, um, the skirt has to remain intact. It can't be torn. And so you can see I've got a number of edges on my board now uh, that could endanger the integrity of that skirt. So I think the next thing I'll do is round those off. <laughs> now we come to the fun bit, the skirt. And there we are. This is the stuff you chuck in a pond in your back garden. The reason I'm using something this heavy duty is that this is the bit that will scrape on the ground and any tear will be a mini hoverboard disaster. I'm now at the final stage of my hoverboard build and it's the, uh, the most exciting bit because it will turn this relatively strange looking piece of wood and plastic into something that floats. At the moment, if I put air into that hole there, it would just inflate this plastic like a balloon and that's, that's no good. What I need to do is put a grommet in the centre here so that when I put air in, I get a kind of rectangular donut shape. If I then punch a holes on the inside of the donut, you can see on my diagram what happens. The motor pushes air into the skirt here and inflates it like a donut. And then using the holes that I just mentioned, the air comes out of those holes and pressurizes the center bit. Then that air tries to escape under the skirt. And it's that pushing out, the air trying to escape, that gives me that film of air allowing me to hover. To make my grommet, I use three strips of plastic cut from a five-pound storage box. The measurements are 100 centimetres long by 10 centimetres wide. And what that means is that when I actually put it on here, in the centre of the plastic, what I'm going to end up with is an inflated donut that is always 25 centimetres wide. My donut is going to be a consistent width, and that's very important so that when air starts flowing over it, it's all in equilibrium. With the grommet firmly screwed down and air holes carefully cut in the skirt, my hoverboard was finished. OK, I think that's it. We're finally ready for a bit of testing. 